help, help, I need a website up quickly. Okay, that actually sounds pretty funny, but this ne very next section, though, um, probably is one of the most popular sections of all. So looking at this again within our really quick lunch and learn, what's the core thing that we need to know about SharePoint is in, term in terms of, in terms of, oh, creating a library or creating something like that, or maybe even being able to create a site that we actually need. See, I've talked about these pre-built templates in our little one-hour quick hit and focus type of teach, but one of the most one of the one of the more beautiful things about SharePoint is the ability to be able to sometimes create sites that are pre-built to help us and get us started. We've got simple sites that we can create, such as workspaces, which tend to be more simple, and we've got more complicated sorts of sites. Now, in this particular example, I want to talk about some simple sites that are made for us right out of the box that we can use to be able to get some functionality up and running. So we have in SharePoint, whenever we come down and I click on Site Actions, and then once again, I come down to, let's just say, More Options. I could have clicked New Site, but I'll go More Options. And then I come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. And what I want you guys to see is when I click on Site, I want you to start seeing some of these things that have workspaces, like Meeting Workspace, Blank Workspace, whatever else. These are sites that are set up right out of the box, or at least with the template, that are designed to do something for us. So they have functionality for us to do something important, such as such as one meeting or one workspace. So real quick, not to kill everyone with definitions, let me just talk about a few of these sites right now, and then we'll move on. Worst, first, you, a real important one is called the basic meeting workspace, okay? Now what this site is, is this site is basically, this site is basically dedicated really to creating a website for a single meeting. Now you might be wondering, what in the world? Now this meeting can reoccur, it can be every week, or it could be one time, or it could be something else, you get the point. But it's basically dedicated to just, cr just one single meeting, essentially, and everything around that meeting. Who are the team members, whatever else. So you set up a website where you store all sorts of documents and do things like that to essentially go to a meeting. Then you've got this blank meeting workspace. Okay, now this is very much like a blank site. So what you've got is you've got this blank meeting workspace, which is going to essentially allow you to, to, to customize, you know, um, this is much like the meeting thing, but this allows you to customize it to whatever you like. So you get more power to be able to customize this to your type of meeting. So maybe you don't want just one document library. Maybe you want 10 document libraries. Who knows? It depends on what your meeting would involve. And then another one I'm going to show you over here is your decision meeting workspace. Now this one's pretty interesting. And let me explain why. Some types of events or meetings are more important than other ones. What if you wanted to set up a website that was dedicated to just one type of big decision that you needed to make? And everything that was involved in that one big decision, such as maybe expand the company or whatever else. This is a website that you would create just for that. So decision meeting works, decision meeting um, workspace over there where you're really tracking how something came into being that was extremely important. And then you get social meeting right over here. So come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. And there's your social meeting workspace. Okay. Probably one of the biggest things you'll be thinking about is like, say you had a Christmas event or whatever else. It's really nice sometimes to be able to track everything and organize it and create a website where you can have everything organized right there. That's what, that's what a social meeting would be. So these are out of the box templates. And right now I want you to understand something very critical. In a CMS system, we have to make it easy for people to be able to get information and collect information, right? and get it into the repository. So these are, these are sites designed to facilitate um, making information collection much easier, essentially. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this just for a moment, and let's see how to create one of these. So just, let's just say that I, need, I have a meeting, and I need to go ahead and I, and I need to go to this meeting, and what I need to do really is I need to be able to have a meeting set up for a, ch ch um, for a social meeting, so maybe a charity jogathon. Yep, I used to work at companies, and sometimes we would have jogathons for, you know, cancer and to fight other sorts of things. Um, and I went to them, and I ate. I ate at the jogathons. I didn't actually do any running, but I should have. I definitely should have. But instead, um, I would join the other group of people who would watch, you know, the five or six people in the company actually, you know, run, while the rest of us just sat down and ate barbecue. Uh, that was very bad, and I feel guilty about that. But let's just say that we have a charity jogathon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Social Meeting Workspace. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, you know, I'm going to give it a title. So for this title, this is the title that shows up. So, welcome, please run this year at the Jogathon. It could be whatever I want to put in the title. I could have called the title, welcome to, you know, Disneyland. But you get the point. It's mm, a title where I label this site. Now I'm going to come over here and I need to give it a URL that people can do. 
can can actually can actually use for you know accessing it. So I call it Charity Jogathon. I click Create. Let it come through. Let it come through. Let it come through. And look at that. So there's Please Run this year over there. Um, but notice that it's got Jogathon over here. And notice what happens. Here you've got pages, so you can add various pages to the site. You've got a discussion part. And you've even got a photos part where you can add photos. So I could add pictures. I could come over here and I could actually, um, we've actually got a discussion board. So for example, I could click Add New Discussion. And I could put, who will run the hardest? I can type whatever I want to, but who will run the hardest? Not Brandon if past history is any indicator. So there's my little board representing that. And this works great for Christmas parties, not just not just social sorts of events or whatever else. I click Save. And you guys can see that what's happened is, there we go, there's who will run the hardest. And what you can see over here is that I had a pre-built page already ready for me, or a pre-built site. So my site has come out now, which is ready for me to essentially customize to be able to meet my needs. That's the power of SharePoint. That's also the power of site templates. So now you understand what site templates are. And if you're building with me now, you're starting to notice that subtly as we begin to cover section by section by section, you're seeing that interesting, very interesting. So now we've gone from list to libraries, um, or, or at least from navigation to list to libraries, where we looked at checking out, versioning, and whatever else, right? Um, and then finally, you know, um, we've talked about different templates, and now we've hit site workspaces which are a particular type of site template for a specialized sort of mini site and you're starting to see that SharePoint has this thing called sites which allows for customization. I think that sets us up nicely to go into the last and final lecture of this particular course on sites where we'll alter some site settings and do some design. Thank you very much Brandon.